be here, part of your service. Thanks for the invitation. I've had some questions um, to answer as part of your service. And the first question is about the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit has, has been um, a help to me here or how I've experienced the Holy Spirit here in Guatemala. And the two most obvious things that come to mind are really simple things. The first one is to do with praying. I meet lots of people in the prison and in my work here who have had really tough lives. Some of the girls are only maybe 15 or 16 years old, they're just high school age, but they have children and the children aren't with them in the prison, the children are away and they think about their children a lot. Or some of the girls in the prison who are maybe 13 or 14 have got mums and brothers and sisters in other prisons and they often think about them and worry about them and they come to me and say, Amy, can we pray for these people? Well, I've never met them and it's very hard for me to know how to pray, but if I ask the Holy Spirit to help me, he really does. So together we can say, okay God, we put these people before you and we know that you know what's happening. Help us to pray for them now. And the Holy Spirit helps us to pray for them. So that's a really important and useful way that the Holy Spirit helps. He also helps when I'm out and about. There's lots of poor people here in Guatemala who ask for money and ask for help on the buses or in the streets, they might be begging. And it's, it's just not possible to give to everyone because there are so many people and, and not enough to give. So what I do now is I pray. If I'm approaching someone, I'll just say, you know, okay God, what do I need to do about this person here? And I'll just get a little nudge in the stomach in my heart if it's, if it's someone that I need to help. Sometimes I've walked past them and then I'll hear a little voice saying, Amy, go back, you've got, you've got ten quetzales in your pocket that you don't need, go and give it to that person. So that really helps me because then I feel that God's helping me understand how I can help one person or another. And I don't give to everyone, but I give in that way. The second question that I was asked was about how God's used my talents um, sort of to witness. Um, here in Guatemala and to tell people about Jesus and you will all know that I'm someone that likes chatting to people and this is something that God has made as part of my personality. I like to find out about people, find out what they're up to and, and share and joke with them and that's been a really simple way that God's used that part of my personality, that talent, to show his love and to share him. I meet lots of people in the prison who for all of their life, they haven't really had folk interested in them. They haven't had folk listening to them or, or wondering or asking them questions about who they are and what they want to be. So just by going and chatting, I think God is um, showing them that there's, there's love in the world and that love comes back to Jesus. Um, obviously, I also like playing music and so we often sing lots of songs that talk about God's love and that's another way of sharing. But the conversation has been the best and it's been really simple and really I think it's, it's changing things there and helps make a difference. The final question is a little more tricky which is about how I feel about the fact that Jesus is coming back and how that changes how I feel about what's happening now and where I am. And it's quite an interesting question because in this, where I am just now in Guatemala, there's lots of people that are very poor, lots of people that are living with violence and, and have difficult things happen to them. And there are also volcanoes and earthquakes and torrential rain in the rainy season. And Jesus describes a lot of these things in the Bible as an example of, of the world not quite being right and needing him to return. So people think a lot about Jesus' return here, a lot more than we do in the UK. And that's okay, but the problem is that sometimes they're thinking so much about when Jesus comes back, they think, oh well, he'll be coming soon, so we don't have to do anything in the meantime, and we don't have to help people. And I think actually, the promise that Jesus is coming back means that there's, there's a lot of hope in these sad stories, because these sad stories are not going to be ending in sadness. This is not the end of the story, we're just in the middle part of the story, but also, we're part of that story, and Jesus, in many ways, is already returning, in, or his, his influence is returning, and he's returning through us and through our actions. And so, it's our job to be part of that, that kingdom, if you like. And so, I think it's very important that we remember that he's coming, and the hope that that gives to so many people that are caught up in difficulty, but also that we're part of that journey towards that final return. 
and that's a practical thing and we need to be expressing and showing the way and saying to people Jesus is coming and it's going to look a bit like this it's going to look a bit like when I give you a hug or it's going to look a bit like when we pray together or we laugh together because it's going to be great and I think that's probably how I would see that I think I've done all the questions I'm going to um, record a wee bit of a video of me singing Santo 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 and I hope you all have a lovely day. Lots of love. Bye. Hi. So we're going to sing Santa 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 together. Um, I'll do an introduction. I'll do it in English. I'll do it in Spanish. And then maybe I'll do it all over again. We'll see how that goes, shall we? For those of you um, on the musical bent, we're in the key of C. Introduction.